Hey, basketball fans. Tommy Beer from Roto World here, joined by Dr. Ray, Steve Alexander, and my guy, Jared Johnson. Point of discussion today is young bigs. Uh, plenty of young, talented forward slash centers uh, in the league today. Um, we're going to talk about some of our favorites. Steve, why don't you start us off with you got? Well, Tommy, you got to be careful when you hype guys so hard that you influence everybody around you with your with your uh, take because you've done that to most of the Roto World guys. Mitchell Robinson, <laughs> New York Knicks, Tommy's guy. Uh, now he's all of our guy. Uh, we're all pretty excited about him. Three blocks a game. He's he's going to be a double double guy, probably at least ten points and ten boards with three blocks. Uh, He's going to play a lot of minutes for the Knicks, even though they added centers. They added, what, Bobby Portis, Todd Gibson, Julius Randle's there now. That's all a little concerning, especially offensively for um, his, his scoring output. So if you're in a points league, I think uh, Mitchell Robinson takes a little bit of a hit. But if, if blocks count in your league, I think he's the guy you want. And I, I, I just love it. I love him. I totally agree with you, Stephen. Yes, there is some concern. They brought in a lot of big bodies in the offseason, but Bobby Portis can switch between the four and the five. Gibson can play back up four. Randall's going to play the four. Um, I was happy to see that they didn't sign a starting caliber center. You know, we saw in Brooklyn with it. Nets have Jared Allen. They brought in DeAndre yeah. Jordan. That's not the case. Um, I think there are many certainties in New York, but I think Mitchell Robinson's starting at center. And as long as he can stay out of foul trouble, we'll play <clears> as many minutes really as, as he can handle. Steve mentioned some of the numbers, especially in a nine category league. Uh, Mitchell Robbins is really, really exciting. Uh, became the first player in NBA history to shoot at least 69% from the floor and 70% from the free throw line last season. The second half of last season when he was inserted into the starting lineup, his per 36 minutes were just you know incredible through the roof, almost five blocks per 36 for the season. So um, a ton to like there. Um, Jared, anybody uh, catch your eye as far as young bigs are concerned? I'm going with John Collins. Uh, this guy took an exponential leap last year. He went from 10.5 points his rookie year to 19.5 his sophomore season, uh, 9.8 rebounds. The shot blocking came down a little bit. I don't know if that's the trend, but he, he had 1.1 blocks his, his rookie year. If you can bring that up a little bit, which I do think is very possible. Uh, I just love this guy. He's a double-double threat. He does everything. He hits his field goal percentage is amazing. He hits his free throws, and I think he's going to take another leap in his age 22 season. A little bit of a concern before the start of training camp. It was that strained hip on the MRI. Yeah, you worry about that at all? Not at all, because I think that he's already going through full practices. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think that it was just a minor blip, and it's not going to – I was concerned, but now that he's been cleared again, I think that he's going to be fine. And if anything, that might drop his ADP down if some folks are worried about it. But you're right, um, the early word from camp, the fact that he's training basically full practices right yes. away is a, is a good sign. And also, both of you guys share something in common. Um, uh, Coach Fisdale has talked about increasing the pace in New York, which is a great sign for fantasy. And Pierce, is, as we know, is a, a really high Fantasy pace. friendly system there. 100%. Um, I'm going with Miles Turner. Tends to fly under the radar a little bit, you know, despite production, consistent production across the board. Led the league in blocks last year. Um, he's another guy that, that's, that's very young in his early 20s. Hasn't really even scratched the surface of his potential. Um, yeah. A little bit concerned about them drafting a center in the, in the first round. Um, and obviously, uh, Sabonis is in there kind of clogging up the, the minutes a little bit. Um, but Turner's the guy they're going to build around. Um, he tends to fall, you know, into the low 20s, mid 20s, third round. Um, I think in the Roto World draft, he slipped a little bit further than I thought. Um, and I still got made fun of him for taking it. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I mean, he just brings it all to the table. Solid free throw shooter, especially for a big man. He can mm -hmm. flirt with 80%. Um, so a lot to like there. Um, I think he's really only improving each year. Um, I think this year will be his best year yet. Um, so uh, I'm scooping up Miles Turner <coughs> anytime he falls in fantasy drafts, um, which I hope to do quite frequently this year going forward.